it's the Crap Brothers here. I'm Chris. And I'm Martin. When most animals jump in the water, they go under, right? I mean, dogs go under, kids go under. But water striders, an incredible insect that walks on water, effortlessly stand on the surface. How do they do it? For one thing, they're very light. And they have teeny tiny hairs on their legs that hold on to microscopic air bubbles that act like natural flotation devices. That gives this animal the power to walk on water. Oh, I want to walk on water. Me too. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Water skiing is one way to walk on water. And it does get you going on the surface, but not 100% natural. For one thing, you need a lot of speed and a 350 horsepower engine to get you going. Yeah! All right, walking on water. Woohoo! Coming around to get you. That was awesome. I love walking on water. Believe it or not, there is another creature much bigger than the water strider that can walk on the water with 100% of its own creature power. The Basilisk. This creature has the ability to walk and run across the surface of the water. Imagine if we had the Basilisk's creature powers. What if? On adventure with the coolest creatures, from the oceans to the trees. The brothers crack up going places you never get to see. Hanging with their creature friends, get ready, it's the hour. We're gonna see some animals today with creature power. on water? Yeah, you heard that right. The basilisk can actually run on water. That's amazing. How does it do it? To pull off water walking, you have to be fast. But basilisks are fast with their own power. We're being pulled by a boat. How do they do it? Oh, we've got to find one and find out. Woohoo! And find out fast. I'm on it. Attention, wildcraft kids in Costa Rica. If you see any water walking basilisk lizards, let us know. Wow, that was fast. Hi, guys. It's Nina. I love basilisk lizards. Sometimes I can even see them from my house. They like to sit in the sun by the river. I'm sending my location. That's great, Nina. Nina? Huh, that's weird. The transmission cut out. Don't worry. I was able to pinpoint a location. Hey, Kimmy, don't slow down. We're sinking. We need speed to stay on the surface. But Koki just found out a wild crack kid knows where to find those water walking lizards. Really? Where? It's up river somewhere. Koki's sending the info to your creature pods. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Water walking basilisks, here we come! I know you guys know a lot about creepy creatures, but lizards that walk on water? Yeah, sure. And I always walk on water. When it rains! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> The canoe stays on the water's surface because it's buoyant, meaning the weight is spread out over a wide area, allowing it to float. So how does a basilisk lizard walk on water without anything big and buoyant to keep it afloat? That's what we're about to figure out. Hmm. And one of the best ways to find them is by canoe, because they like to hang out on joba trees that hang out over the river. And as soon as you do, I'll program a basilisk disc that gives your suits the power to walk on water. Cool! See ya, Viva! Hey, Koki, still haven't received the coordinates of where Nina saw the basilisk. Working on it. My communication terminal is cutting in and out. Okay, we'll start heading upriver. Send it when you get it. Terminal. Cutting. Out. Maybe 
the Krat boys are running around with something that would make an exotic hat. Have you intercepted their terminal yet? Maybe? Maybe won't win me the best designer hat prize in Paris, Davio. I need a truly inspirational creature to make the most beautiful hat in the world. And those wild crafts are going to help me find it. Now shove over. Okay, we've got the location, Koki. We'll let you know when we find the water-walking basilisk lizard. A water-walking lizard hat? I could win with that! Turn the jet around, Davio. We're going to Costa Rica. All right. This is the place Nina said she saw the basilisk lizard. Oh, yeah. Jobo trees. A basilisk loves to lay in the sun in the morning on a jobo tree and eat the yummy fruit. I don't know about you, bro, but I want a bird's eye view. Sounds like a lizard to me. <gasps> Can't quite get a good look at it. Can you, Martin? Uh, no, I can. Green, looks like a dinosaur. But he sinks. Going in for a closer look. <gasps> a green iguana! Oh, his defense is to dive underwater and hide there from predators. An awesome lizard, but not a water walker. Hey, Chris, where are you? Martin, I think I've got a basilisk out in the open. Where? Shh. <laughs> He's right here. A basilisk. He's so cool looking. Oh, in a dinosaur kind of way. Check out those feet. They're huge. And the claws. Whoa. Oh, look how fast he skitters. I'm going to call him Skitter. Any lizard could be called Skitter. And this guy does way more than Skitter. For one, he walks on water. Oh, you're right, Chris. I need to come up with something that's all about being a basilisk. They munch fruit and gobble up bugs. So that means a basilisk is an omnivore, eating a lot of different things. But isn't it dangerous to hang out in the open on a branch with so many predators around? We're about to find out. Uh-oh. Eagle, two o'clock. It's a harpy eagle. A harpy? A harpy eagle has the longest talons of any bird of prey on the planet. Talons as long as a grizzly bear's claws. Aren't harpies known to pluck monkeys out of treetops? Sure are. Uh, Martin. You look kind of like a monkey holding the jobo fruit. <laughs> oh, maybe. But this giant blue monkey is too big for even a harpy to snatch. <gasps> but a basilisk lizard isn't. I didn't even name him yet. Oh, ah! Yikes. Oh, that's why a basilisk can hang out like that. Because he has a quick escape. He's walking on water. <laughs> Running up river. Whoa, check out those big claws. He's splashing away. Oh, that's what I'm going to call him. Splash Claw. Cool name. He ran almost seven feet per second on the water. That's fast. Yeah. Wait a second. That's the same as five miles per hour. Huh. Humans run that fast. You're right. We can run that fast. So if we do, maybe we can cross the river too. Hmm. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Speed's important, but it's definitely not foot speed alone that makes the basilisk walk on water. Maybe it's the size of those wide back feet. They're way bigger than the rest of them. And it's those feet that he was water walking on. Oh, I have another water walking trick up my sleeve. Actually, in my backpack. Snow kiss in the rainforest. Hey, you might be more organized, but I'm better prepared. On your mark. Get set! Go! <laughs> well, at least we got a few more steps before we sunk. Hey, where'd the basilisk go? We can't learn the mystery of water walking without him. Hey guys, there's definitely more to the basilisk water walking powers than foot speed or foot size. We're analyzing your footage, and we think we're onto something. What? It's like someone is trying to intercept our communications. That's weird. Let me try again. Ah, lost it! Ah, and we lost the basilisk. This mission is in trouble. Now, we need to catch the running lizard, put it in suspended animation, add a bow or two, and get it to Paris tout suite. Huh? It means fast in French. Uh, what does? Forget it. Is the net ready? There it is. A lizard hat that can fetch me an iced tea while I'm sunning in the pool. I must have it. Get it! 
<laughs> okay, guys, I'm sending you visuals on the Basilisk Lizard. Something's going on with those big feet as they hit the water. But the replay video's too fuzzy. Hmm. Can you get a closer look? You think the missing piece of the puzzle might be in his feet? Exactly. There he is! Splash Claw! Hey, we missed you! How do you walk on water? Quick, while he's fueling up on the Jogo fruit, check out his feet! Okay, they're big. Oh, spread out. Long toes. And look at this. Fringes. Fringes on the toe that kind of flap around. You getting this, Aviva? Sure am. The toe fringes. And the snake slithering behind you. Oh, tree boa. Get ready, Chris. Splash Claw is going to see the boa any second. Okay, looks like he's going to run. Let's get in the canoe and follow him. He's going! Paddle up. Chris, film his back feet as close as you can. Rolling! <laughs> Got it! Got it! <laughs> Got nothing left? <gasps> it's like the basilisk does something with the fringes on his feet in the water. It's like he's creating air bubbles. The fringes widen in the water. When the foot slaps hard on the surface, the fringe opens and creates an air bubble under the feet. The water bubble might be keeping them afloat. But why don't the air bubbles pop? Because the basilisk removes its foot quickly before it can. That's why foot speed is so important. So it's speed, wide feet to spread out the weight, and feet that twist to make air bubbles that give a little float. It's all of these things together that do it. Way to go, Aviva. That could be the last piece of the puzzle. But to be sure, we've, we've got to test it out. out. Martin, get those snowshoes on. Jimmy Z, could you teleport me my scuba gear? And I'll attach rubber strips to simulate the basilisk toe fringes. Uh-oh, Chris has a plan again. <laughs> Chris, Jimmy's teleporting your scuba gear. Watch out for it. Whoa! Thanks for the heads up, Aviva. <laughs> Even if I have to put my head down. Okay, when I give the thumbs up, start running really fast. Okay, you got it, bro. Initiate Basilisk Air Bubble Experiment number one. All right, here goes the fastest human feet in the rainforest. Oh, I'm doing it, Chris. I'm walking on water. It's working. Speed plus big feet plus water bubbles giving buoyancy. It's not quite working. Oh, come on, Splash Claw. Don't rub it in. <laughs> This water walking thing might be the toughest creature mystery we've ever been up against. But we're so close. When we started, just running, you stayed up for one second. With bigger feet or snowshoes, you stayed on the water for two seconds. With toe fringes and air bubbles, you started walking on water for six seconds. It feels like there's just one more missing piece. I could think if your big claw wasn't right in my face. <laughs> Other than that, you're a pretty light lizard. Light! That's it! Why didn't I think of that before? The lizard is light, and Martin is heavy. Hmm. You trying to say I eat too much chocolate? <laughs> you know, silly. The lizard is just way lighter than you. A basilisk weighs seven ounces and runs five miles per hour on the water. You're much heavier at 200 pounds. You'd have to run 65 miles per hour to walk on water like a basilisk. I just have to increase Martin's running speed, and I can do that with the creature power suit. Don't move. I'll have you walking on water in no time. I hear something. Me too. What are Danita and Davio doing here? Martin Kraft is trying to steal my tea fetching award winning hat! Don't move, Splash Claw. You're safe with us. No, no, don't! <gasps> Whoa, leave that basilisk alone! He belongs living free and walking on water. No, he belongs in Paris on a hat, so I can win first prize. Huh? Run, Splash Claw, run! Oh no, they're gaining on it! Run, Splash Claw, run! No! Hello, hats. Goodbye, crafts. Ugh. Oh, they got him. Not for long. Guys, I just figured out why my terminal has been fritzing out all day. Danita's been cutting into our frequency. Yeah, she just stole Splash Claw to make a hat. She must have spied on us to capture him. I'm following her on my global positioning system. Aviva, are the basilisk discs ready for the creature power suits? Almost there. Danita's heading to her plane. At this point... The only way we're going to save Splash Claw is by speed walking on water. Prepare the suspended animation beam, Davio. Time for me to design this lovely lizard into a hat. Guys, the discs are ready. Heads up, Jimmy. Energize. Coming out, you crap rose. All right. Ha! We've got the discs. Now we just need to find a basilisk. 
<laughs> oh, we lost Splash Claw. Oh, and it took us forever to find it. Huh? I got it. Let's do nothing. Don't move, Martin. <gasps> I'm with you, dude. Tree branch pose. Dead tree stump position. Let's let the Basilisk Lizard come to us. Activate Creature Power Suit. Activate Creature Power Suit. Yes! You ready to take a walk on the wet side, bro? I'm with you, Basilisk buddy. Whoa! You'll be much happier as a hat than some boring lizard in a tree. Trust me. How can you be sad when I'm going to be on the cover of every fashion magazine? Now, let's play with this fabulous ice tea fetching feature. <laughs> <laughs> to the creature rescue! <laughs> if you have big feet, plus speed, plus air bubbles, then you're running on water with basilisk power. <laughs> awesome, it worked! Animals can take you anywhere in science. But they're running out of time. Guys, Danita's getting away. We've got to catch up fast. Let's kick it, dude. Saving the planet with creature power. Okay, water walking sun hat. Get me an iced tea. And step on it. <laughs> step on it. <laughs> Ugh, still thirsty. This time put a sprig of mint in it. Oh, I can do this all day. And after I win that contest in Paris, I will! <laughs> We're so close, Martin! We can catch her if we run faster! Guys, basilisks can't run forever! They run in bursts and then sink! <laughs> oh, we're sinking! Whoa. Martin, to the rocks! We'll make a new plan! <gasps> okay, what's the plan? I don't know. I thought you might have one. Okay, rest over! Let's go! Davio, this lizard hat is the perfect launch for a new line of sun hats. We'll come back soon and snatch all the lizards in the rainforest, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Not if we can help it. Ooh. Was that a crat? Two crats, in fact. Don't worry. Splash Claw, we're gonna save you. Davio, get rid of those overgrown lizards! Catch me, Davio! No, catch me first. Ooh. Huh? How do the big lizards know me? Don't listen to them! Get rid of them! Uh-oh! Yeah, catch Martin first! What? Trust me on this one, bro! Oh no! My controller! Huh? <laughs> Game over, Danita! Yeah. I got you, lizard man! I win, I win! Yeah. Game over for you, Chris Kratt! Chris, over here! Yeah. <laughs> Splash Claw! Run! Yes! The Basilisk is back where he belongs. Running free and in... It's too far! He can't run all the way back to land. Good. We'll just catch him in the net again so I can get to Paris. Can we be of any assistance? That's a good Splash Claw. Safe and sound. Thanks, Danita. Dabio, always not fun seeing you. Yeah, but... No, it wasn't! Um, Danita? What? No! No! Ah! Well, beautiful lizards and birds around the world can rest easy for a while. Ooh, pretty head. Let's get you home, Splash Claw. Mission accomplished. The basilisks are back living free and in the wild. I sure learned a lot about them today. It takes wide feet, fringes, speed, and spinning feet to create water bubbles, allowing them to walk on water. They can also jump out of trees. And they're great swimmers, like me. And they're great climbers, like me. And they eat fruit and bugs, not like me. <laughs> and basilisks are the ultimate water-walking lizards. I don't know about you, Chris, but I think it's time for a walk on the wet side. Hey, that's my line. Not today. Ready, set, go! <laughs> The Basilisk Lizard could be one of the coolest lizards of all time. 
Must be nice to be able to climb trees, swim underwater, and then run right across the top of it. I can climb trees. And I can swim underwater. But we both can't walk on water. Unless you have a boat pulling you on water skis. The basilisk doesn't have water skis, but he has these feet. They create a lot of surface area on the water, and then they get running. This basilisk will stand up like this, run with these hind feet. These two basilisks, born in captivity, have never walked on water before. Can they do it? Now, we're going to start their training. The male basilisk is bigger, heavier, and has those cool crests and ridges all down its back. The female, she doesn't have any of the crests or ridges, and she's a lot smaller and lighter. So what do you think? Will that make her the best water walker? <laughs> hey, are you ready, bud? Guess not. Maybe they'll only water walk if a predator's around. Let's try a simulation. Basilisk perched on the tree. He sees a predator. Go! <laughs> no. <laughs> that didn't work. Hmm, you know, it is possible. Since they were born in captivity, they might not be able to learn how to walk on water. Whoa, he's swimming! <laughs> nice! That's some good swimming. Yeah. Basilisk style. Now your turn. Come on. Go catch up with him. A basilisk lizard is a great swimmer and can hold its breath for up to half an hour underwater. Wow. This might take a while to teach these basilisks to walk on water. Just like anything, they need to practice. Go for it. Get marks. Get set. Yes! That was walking! Good job! Let's try the male basilisk. He's ready to go. <laughs> I did it! Awesome. Walking on water with the Basilisk Blizzard. See you on the Creature Trail. Did you know that aardvark means earth pig? This is awesome. That nose is always working. And when it smells something it likes, then the claws come out and they start digging. Now, the neat thing about an aardvark nose, if you look closely, you'll see the nostrils are filled with hairs. That, that's kind of like an eyelash for his nose, keeping the dirt out. So he can breathe while he's digging. Keep going, bud. We'll keep an eye out for things. When you're a kangaroo, you live in hot places. But kangaroos don't sweat like we do. Instead, a kangaroo licks his arms. See that? Look at this. He has licked his arms so much, they're soaking wet. He licks his arms just like that. And by licking his arms like that, the kangaroo gets them really wet. And then the heat from his body goes into the water, which evaporates, taking the heat away. So that's how a red kangaroo stays cool.